In this video, I'll show you how our visual merchandising feature empowers merchants to control their product displays effectively. Our feature allows you to manage how your products appear in instant search results on collection pages, making product positioning simpler than ever. You can choose from five different merchandising strategies, pin, boost, demote, hide and filter. With the pin strategy, you can highlight individual products or groups to ensure maximum visibility. The boost strategy allows you to dynamically elevate specific products based on attributes like price or vendor. The demote strategy allows you to reduce the visibility of specific products, while the hide strategy allows you to discreetly remove products, for example, if they are out of stock. And lastly, the filter strategy refines searches to spotlight specific features. Let me show you how you can use our visual merchandising tool to optimize product placements and enhance the visibility of your products, leading to greater online store success. Once you've landed in the homepage of the Boost AI Search Discovery Dashboard, to head to merchandising, there are two key ways that you can access this. We've got the filters. If you hover over this, the drop down will appear and you can head to merchandising here. Alternatively, you can look at the search tab and scroll down to merchandising, depending on what type of merchandising feature you want to set up. So it's divided into two tabs, as you can see here. We've got the collection page and the commerce search. Here you can swiftly search for filter or rules, toggle their statuses and access their impact on your site and collection pages as well. So just to showcase how to set this up, we will quickly craft a merchandising rule for commerce search. So you head to the add rule, new rule button and just to mention, you can see the rules that you have created here and they will be in chronological order. So let's add a new rule to show you how it's done. So before you add, it will ask whether you want to create one for commerce search or collection page. For the purpose of the example, we'll look at a commerce search and this will take you to the customization setup of a search. So you will proceed to the define rule conditions and this is where you can set them up. So let's include a name here. For example, we might want to name it skirt um, rule and then we can choose an active date range where you want this to run from. I'll just create a dummy one here. So from the date of today to the 31st end of the month. Say for example, if you're running a campaign or a two week sale, you might want to include the sale items at the top of the search results, for example, just so that you can get the promotion and hopefully get more conversions on those items. Click apply. Here is where you can set whether it applies to all search terms or specific search terms. So let's have a look at setting up a specific search term for skirts, for example. You can add multiple search terms to one rule. So I can click and add another one here. So when customers enter these search terms, the rule will trigger. Also scrolling down, we've got the different strategies, which you can add multiple strategies to a rule. You're free to apply up to five merchandising strategies per rule, which includes pin, boost, demote, hide, and filter, as mentioned in the intro. However, opting to apply all of these search terms actually limits you to three strategies, which is the boost, demote, and hide strategy. We've also got the product performance ranking, which is linked to our product products perform ranking AI search filter, which will automatically show you high, highest ranking products in the search results as well. But let's just say, for example, we will show you how to create a pin product strategy. So for this feature, you can use up to five products in top positions. Let's consider a specific search term like skirts and dress. This merchandising rule and the settings for this strategy are displayed on the right hand side here as showcased with a preview in the middle here showcasing what it will look like on your storefront. If I wanted to search for a specific skirt that we've got, I can um, add it here and move the positioning of when users search this for which results will come out first. So this will completely depend on which products you're favoring, whether you want to move the position, you just do so simply as that. You can search for the products here um, or just manually scroll. You can also delete products using their X button if you have added an incorrect product in the results. Similarly to this, we've got the demote rule, which allows you to decrease the visibility based on specific attributes. So you can choose some of the attributes, whether that's price, and then you can select the value as well. 
Also, you can hide specific products based on seasonal availability, whether they are out of stock. Here, you've got lots of attributes to choose from, and that's how you will set them up and the value. So whether that is a specific shirt, collection that you want to demote, whether they are out of stock. For filter, it refines the product searches, and we'll skip through this strategy for now because we've got a kind of walkthrough video on filter as a feature itself. So once you are happy with the rules, scroll down, you'll see a quick summary of the rules that we've just set up. So as you can see, I've changed the position of specific features. I've hidden shirts on this search pet results because it's quite similar to skirts. And then if I can either choose to save it as a draft or review and publish, today we'll just save it as a draft. It will come up with this notification, which is essentially just allowing you to double check the rules that you've created and the strategies that you've set. Um, before saving it or publishing it and then you can click save as draft and you will see it appear in this icon down below. So just to walk you through, you've got the status so you can toggle these on and off to enable or disable the rule. You've got the search term that you've used and also the merchandising strategy so you can see I've used the pin through this icon. If you hover over this, it will show you what items you've pinned, which items you've hidden and kind of the re-ranking of products. You've got the date range here. And you can edit these very easily using this pen icon. You can duplicate them here with the copy tool or you can delete them if it was a mistake. So moving on to creating um, visual merchandising for collection pages, you can easily navigate here as well as mentioned. It follows a very similar process. So you can add a new rule exactly the same as before and you select the specific collections accordingly. So this is exactly the same setup as the search rule, but it's just for specific collections. It's also important to mention that one collection can be included in one rule only. You can only apply a rule to one collection, okay? So I won't show you the same process because it is exactly the same, but just a reminder, you do have the four mer merchandising strategies to kind of focus on. You've got the pin, boost, demote, and hide um, when looking at collection pages. So applying this rule to all of the collection pages only actually allows the hide merchandising rule as this ensures specific products remain hidden across all collection pages. So by optimizing your merchandising for both commerce search and collection pages, you can tailor your approach based on specific campaigns, prioritizing new or popular or high margin items as needed. So that in a quick overview is the merchandising page, how it works, how you can set up a merchandising rule and a strategy. If you have any questions regarding this feature itself, head to the home page, scroll down to get support and start a live chat with a member of our team and they will respond with any information and they'll be happy to help. Thank you. Thank you.